hot summer day. I took the E-Train to Court Square to check out the Long Island City Flea. LIC Flea operates on a 24,000 square foot lot overlooking the East River in the Manhattan skyline. The first thing you see when you walk into the market is a cowboy riding a bicycle. His name is Jet Thomason and he's the co-owner of Ice Riders. We are an eco-friendly uh, bicycle ice shaving company. We use the bicycle to power the shaver and it makes snow cones or snowballs or shaved ices. And uh, then we pour the flavored syrups over them. All of our products are 100% compostable. So we're a very eco-friendly business, no electricity needed. Oaxaca Taqueria is inspired by the Mexican city of Oaxaca. They make authentic tacos with homemade ingredients sourced from local farms. We have chicken, chorizo, Korean, which is like not authentic, but it's kind of like a take on Korean barbecue. And then we also have fish, potato, and pork. We have four locations. We have one in Park Slope, one in Greenwich Village, one in the Lower East Side, and one on the Upper West Side. Next on my market visit was artist Ezard who paints robots from other galaxies visiting our planet. I do art, I'm an artist, and I also have a series of robots. Um, it's Adopter Robot. It's robots that are from space, and they come to Earth and they're looking for homes. So each one has a name and a little bit about themselves, and you have to find one that fits your home and fits your lifestyle. And you take it home and you love it. I also had a little chat with Anna and Emily of Luke's Lobster. We make um, seafood rolls, basically lobster rolls, crab rolls, and shrimp rolls, and we're 100% from Maine. The owner of the company is named Luke, and he had this like, idea to create a Maine-style lobster roll restaurant in New York City. And so we have our seafood comes from Maine, our soda comes from Maine, our chips, like everything is like very Maine-centric. Uh, so like Anna explained to me what exactly is a lobster roll. It's a very New England kind of sandwich, and we take a, like a hot dog bun basically and grill it with some butter, and then fill it with a little bit of mayonnaise, a quarter pound of lobster, crab, or shrimp, and then top it with melted lemon butter and secret seasoning spices. Then I spoke to Richard DeFred, the president and founder of Imperial Yucatan Honey. It's 100% pure and organic honey from a single flower called Sicilche. It's a very special flower. It only blossoms for eight weeks out of the year. So it makes pollination very concentrated. So as a result, you have a very pure, concentrated honey, similar to a bottle of wine from a single vineyard. We created a design bottle that can serve as a gift, but also as a serving dish. For the market specifically, we created two products so that everybody can have access to the taste of the honey. And one of them is Honey Drops with 100% pure organic honey, as well as lollipops. In the next booth, I met with Harold, who is a New York City teacher, but also helps out his parents selling fruits and vegetables from their family farm in New Jersey. We grow everything here on the table you see, except the blueberries, they come from a neighboring farm, but everything's locally grown, no pesticides, so good healthy food. We offer zucchini, we offer peppers on the table, cucumbers, summer squash, corn, Jersey sweet corn. We have uh, different types of peaches, white and yellow, blueberries, onions. Later in the season we'll have more stuff like watermelons, more peppers, we'll even get our tomatoes in. We have beef steak field tomatoes. So it's not certified organic, but we don't spray any pesticides. I then spoke to Karen Overton, the director of Recycle a Bicycle. We are a non-profit organization. We operate two retail stores, but we also do a lot of youth programming. So we work with 20 schools and we teach bike maintenance and repair. We also have ride clubs. So we, from our Long Island City location, which is right over here, we launched two ride clubs and we're just about to embark on summer youth employment where 10 young people get paid by summer youth employment to learn bike repair with us. And we also are representing Buy a Bag. That's a woman-run company based out of Ridgewood. Um, they use unwanted tubes. And then in the back here, we have bicycles fixed up by our young people, our mechanics in training. And they've all been checked by professionals. So that's what we do at Recycle a Bicycle. To round out my visit, I spoke to the very friendly folks of Liz Lemonade, which is a delicious, not-too-sweet lemonade to which they add all sorts of fruits. 
We have strawberry, mango, pineapple, cucumber, honeydew, cantaloupe, watermelon, blueberries, blackberries, mint, basil, ginger, jalapeno, habanero. It's whatever somebody wants in the lemonade, but it's all lemonade based. That's my report from Long Island City. Go check it out this summer.